Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, let's see how we can start creating our first portfolio using the Wit.com uh, platform. This is for creating some different websites. And of course, really easy and really simple to do that. So I'm going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description. If you want to create your account, if you don't have an account already created, so you do have different, uh, let's say, rewards just by signing up. Now, in my case, I've created my first account into Wix just for the purpose of this tutorial, so I can be showing you how it's going to be looking if you're just getting started. So, what I'm going to be choosing here is the uh, I'm going to be seeing something like this. Let's bring your ideas to your life. So, I'm going to hit into Get Started. So, uh, like the very first part of Wix that I think is really great is what kind of website you're creating. So we only want to focus into the portfolio. I'm going to hit into next. If you want to choose in a specific portfolio, for example, like a film student, something creative, a journalist, general, you can choose whatever you want to. Let's say that I want to focus into the film student and hit into next. So why is that? Because Wix is going to be helping us to choose in a specific template so we can opt to select something that can be fitable for our field of work. So what is your name or your business name? In our case, we do want to focus only into our name. And what are your goals for this side? I want to promote my work, right? And offer some services if I want to. So I'm going to hit into next. Here is my email, here is my phone, and I can add some socials if I want to. I want to just keep this for now, create your first portfolio project. So in here, I'm going to be choosing project title, let's say Stevens Rio 2023. Introduce your project with a brief description. This is a sample of my work, of course you want to select a different title because this is just uh, too general. Hit into next and into the add media to your project. I'm going to be choosing this section and we can start to import right away all our media, all our projects that we've been working on like this. Uh, I'm going to be choosing this stuff. And lastly, so that we have something like much more created. I'm going to hit into this image, this custom image, or even this one. And after that, I'm going to hit into next. I just need to wait till all the um, images has been uploaded successfully. I'm going to hit into next. And here it is, set your website domain. Now, this is a free domain from Wix. If you want to connect your own custom domain later, you want to choose this option. And this one is going to be sending you, is going to be asking you is what is the domain that you want to connect. And of course, do you want to pay for a basic plan if you want to still use your domain that you already have? So in my case, I do not want to pay absolutely for anything. So I'm going to hit into uncheck. And here I'm going to hit into next. Now your portfolio side is coming together. You can hit into continue to set up. Now, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen here is that it's going to be showing us our dashboard. So here, I want to update your site, your site type. If you want to choose up to date now, here I can choose a different type of site. So I'm going to leave it like that. We do have a custom domain. We can select to to this site, our website, and of course to get founded on Google. But let's just go step by step, which in my case, I want to focus into the design side. And now we are in here. I want to choose, let's let Wex create a site for you or customize a design te template. Now this one is going to be like really easy for people who already know what do they want into their website. And if you're just getting started and you don't want to mess around into the site, into the design of the website, I want to choose the get started. So now that we are in here, what's going to happen is going to be sending me into the Wix website editor. So what I just need to do is to fill a few stuff into this section so Wix can do the rest. So here I'm going to be choosing my logo, my name. I'm going to be choosing my email 
and address. I'm going to choose something like this. The phone number, the social account if you want to. Hit into next. I was going to be asking like, choose something that you like. You can always change them later. So I do want to look for Fuse. These are the colors, the color palette. So I want to just focus into the third one and go into next. Now preparing your homepage designs, we're creating personalized option for you depending on the field that we selected, right? So we do have three different options. Here as you can see is one of them. Here's another one. And here's the last one. I think that for my personal taste, I do want to focus into the third one because this one is just like more easier uh, on the eye and this has a lot of information like it's really really I think it's really professional but I think there's a lot of information and some might think that this is too boring so I'm going to just focus into the third one here into next and lastly I just need to wait till Wix tell us what else we can add to our site so if you want to add a bio a contact, some news, you can't do that. I want to add the bio and the contact. The news I don't think is going to be like too important for me. So we're getting to next. So once you have already selected a design, the fields to add, once you choose your details, you add your description, your brand, your logo, your name, our site is going to be set up correctly so as you can see it says correct congratulations your site is up and running so I'm gonna go into go to the editor so what I just need to do is to edit the things that I don't like or I just want to edit uh, into my specific store so for example here this portfolio it's kind of looking great so far but I think I want to change for example this color because I don't like this color like at all so I can choose change stripped backup. So here I'm going to be choosing color. Well, let's say I want to choose the theme colors like this. I want to focus into something new. So let's say something like this and change, change it for something like more darker like this. So there you have it. I'm going to get into apply. If I want to choose a fluent gradient like this, I can do that as well. And hit into continue. And then what I want to do is to change the about me section. I can customize my image here. I can customize, of course, this image. Once again, I can customize my contact. If you don't want to use any specific Google Maps, you can just select this button. And here, I don't want to see this. So let's say that I want to go into manage location and delete this because I don't want to see this. Here we go. So now that we already have that here into welcome to my student portfolio, let's say I want to change that for something like more portfolio of the 2023. Folio 2023, I think for me is working really, really great. So there you have it guys, it's a really uh, simple way to do that. Once you are ready, go into publish and it's going to be sending us the email, I mean the website. So I'm going to hit into build website and my website is going to be created like really right away. So it was really easy, right, to create a portfolio into Wix. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff about Wix. Thank you once again for watching the video guys, be creative here, uh, good luck with your portfolio stuff. You'll use all the tools that appears in here into the left part. I know that we didn't have a lot of time to check it out all of the features that appears in here. But once you hit into one of them, I'm pretty sure that you're going to be understanding really fast of what this each tool does into the weeks.com. So thank you once again for watching the video guys and I'll see you in the next one.